Hello my friends! Welcome to the 13th episode of the item guide series. Today we will talk about 4 defensive items. Cursed Helmet, Guardian Helmet, Antique Courage and Brute Force, Bla Bla and Brute Force Breastplate. If you haven't done it already, you can still submit your tips to everyone in the ranks below you on how to rank up better in the next season. The link is in the description. Also, the voiceover quality is most likely a little bit worse than usual, because I'm preparing many things right now, and part of it was changing my room where I'm recording, so it may sound a little bit echoey at the moment. Anyway, let's jump right into today's topic and talk about Cursed Helmet. You get plus 1200 HP and plus 25 magic damage. This item has one effect and it's called Burning Soul. You deal 1.5% of your max HP as magic damage to any nearby enemy every second. To minions, the damage increases by 50%. Let me show you how it works. I'm using Uranus for the demonstration. Quick note on that, he was one of the first heroes I've ever played and I absolutely love his new skin. When I'm standing next to the Layla bot, I deal 64 damage to her every second. You must be quite near, otherwise it's not triggered. Magic defense items lower the damage by the way, since you deal magic damage. It gets lowered from 64 down to 46 magic damage and even down to 35 with Athena's passive effect. The passive can trigger the passive effect from Athena's shield by the way. What you could use as a tank to activate it, so your teammates with magic damage can burst down that enemy once the effect is on cooldown. When you play as tank on the side lane, you can also use this item to increase your speed of clearing the waves. As you can see, the HP of the minions drop quite fast, although I'm not even touching them. Now, who can use this item? This item is mostly used by tanks, who are able to stay for a very long time near to the enemy and have a huge amount of HP, in order to maximize the damage from the passive. Examples will be Basha, Balaric, Katukacha or Hylos. But it also can be used by fighters with the ability to stay for a long time in a fight and near the enemy, for example Belmont or Thamus. It's just important that when you want to use it, you should try to build items that increase your max HP, so that the passive is becoming effective. Now, let's talk about Guardian Helmet. You get a whopping 1550 HP, which is the highest amount of HP you can get from any item and plus 20 HP regeneration. For those who don't know it, HP regen is the exact amount of HP you regen every second. So with this item, you regenerate 20 HP every second. It has also one passive effect and it's called recovery. You regenerate 1.5 to 3.5% of your hero's max HP every second. Each kill or assist will increase the amount of 0.25%, including those that you already have before you build this item. Now the confusing part, at least for me. This effect wears off within 5 seconds after taking damage. English is not my mother tongue and that's why I checked the Cambridge dictionary. And the explanation of wear off is, if a feeling or the effect of something wears off, it gradually disappears. That completely makes no sense in the way how the item works. I will show you now what I mean. After I took damage, you can see that I'm recovering a bit of HP first. This is the 20 HP regen I get from the stat. After 5 seconds, I suddenly start to regen 82 HP, which is exactly 1.5% of my max HP. And this effect stays until I take any damage or my HP is full. So either the item description is very misleading or my understanding of English is broken. Anyway, who should use this item? Generally you can use it on any hero with a tank build, if you want to include some HP regeneration. Especially the passive effect lets you recover your HP quite fast and can prevent that you have to recall back to the base. You are usually building this item in the late game, as fifth or last item, because other defensive items are more important to build in the early game, since this item doesn't increase your defense. An easy example would be Athena's shield against heroes with magic damage. I personally like this item, because it allows you to stay on the battlefield, which is in my opinion a very important thing for a tank. While you heal, you can still roam around and provide vision for your team. And if the enemy comes close to you, you can just back off before it gets dangerous. By the way, you can increase the healing effect with Oracle, just as a little side note. Next, let's talk about Antique Koras. You get 920 HP, 54 physical defense and a whopping plus 2 HP regen. It has one passive effect and it's called Deter. When an enemy hero hits you with a basic attack, the physical attack of that hero 
is reduced by 10% for 2 seconds. This effect can stack up to 3 times. Now, before we get into the demonstration, I have to tell you about the update for this item on the advanced server. First, the HP regen is increased to 4 and the passive effect is not triggered by basic attacks anymore but instead by skills. Also the physical attack is reduced by 8% instead of 10%. Since I have access to the advanced server now, I can show you how both effects work. First the effect on the official server. After I hit Uranus with my basic attack, my physical attack went down from 773 to 650. Excuse me, could you leave me alone? I'm trying to explain you something. After 3 hits, it went down by 30% in total and my damage went from 276 down to 174. The effect ends after I didn't attack him for 2 seconds. On the advanced server, my basic attack has no effect on her physical attack, but after I hit him with a skill, it went down from 638 to 586. So, on who should you build this item? Well, in this case it's more of a counter item against other heroes. They should deal physical damage obviously. Against heroes who deal magic damage, it's useless. On the official server, where the passive is triggered by basic attacks, you should use it against heroes who deal damage with a lot of basic attacks. That includes for example all MMs with attack speed like 1-1, one one, Hanabi or Mia or fighters who mainly use basic attacks like Argus or Zilong. The advanced server version though should be used against skill based heroes who deal physical damage. Examples are Lancelot, Benedetta or Fanny. Lastly, let's talk about Bruce Force Breastplate. You get plus 770 HP and plus 45 physical defense. It has one passive effect and it's called Brute Force. After you cast out a skill or use the basic attack, your movement speed is increased by 2% and your physical and magic defense by 4 points. This lasts for 4 seconds and can stack up to 5 times. So in total, you get plus 10 movement speed and 20 points physical and magic defense from it. I'm using Ranger this time to show it. After one basic attack, my movement speed went up from 259 to 264 and both my physical and magic defense increased by 4 points. You can see with this icon how many stacks you currently have and how long it will last. If you have full stacks and you use a basic attack or a skill again, the timer is resetted. So, for which hero is this item made? You can use it on heroes who are able to get up to 5 stacks quickly and need a defense item to be able to sustain more and also to increase their movement speed. Examples are Cho, Yisun Shin, Hilda, Carrie, Jawhead, Granger or Benedetta. It's not a defensive item, you usually use on tanks though. If you play certain tanks on the sideline though, you can think about building it, like Atukacha, Uranus or Basha. Now, go and check out the whole item guides playlist if you haven't already. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're awesome of course. Also write something nice in the comments to get a shout out like Klexby, Mad Aldri Ramos, B-Boy Finesse, Bluegrin and Brand. Thank you all for your support and see you next time. Have a great day. Hey yo, what the fuck?